Okay, so let us uh, start uh, one exercise. We will show that one bar generates Z4. So this is a very easy exercise. And we will also show that three bar generates Z4. So this exercise is very simple to prove. So let's take cyclic group generated by one bar so this is nothing but uh, this is what we want to show that it is equal to z4 so this means that one bar will become the generator of the set of the group z4 so what is the definition of cyclic group generated by a it is a collection of all powers where the powers are positive and negative or zero also so cyclic group generated by one bar we will take positive powers so i'll take zeroth power one bar is to one one bar two as you know taking negative powers will also give you the same answers so one bar raised to zero is identity and identity of z4 is how much identity of z4 turns out to be zero bar uh, one bar raised to one bar any element raised to the first power is the element itself so one bar raised to one bar is one bar one bar square means one bar plus one bar one bar cube means one bar plus one bar plus one bar and one bar plus one bar plus one bar plus one bar and so on this will go on continuing and this is nothing but zero bar this is one bar this is two bar this is three bar and again this will be giving me zero bar so i will stop here so this is the entire set z4 and this proves that one bar is what one bar is generator of z4 okay uh, similarly uh, you can show for three bar what are the powers of three bar so which will be three bar raised to zero three bar raised to one three bar square three bar cube and so on so three bar raised to zero is identity and this identity is zero bar three bar raised to one is three bar three bar square is three bar plus three bar which is six bar 3 bar plus 3 bar plus 3 bar which is 9 bar and so on but in z4 0 bar 3 bar are as it is 6 bar will become what 6 bar will become 2 bar and 9 bar will become how much uh, 9 bar will become, will become 1 bar so this is again giving you what this is again giving you z4 okay so this is the way uh, we have found out the uh, that 1 bar and 3 bar are generators of the group z4 okay z is cyclic so that the set of integers with respect to addition operation is a cyclic group now how will we prove that if you want to show that certain group is cyclic group you have to show you have to just find the generator of that particular group right now the set of integers the identity of the set of integers is zero right remember that identity star identity is always identity identity star identity star identity is also identity so this means identity is never the generator of a non-trivial group so identity is not generator here because zero will uh, give you what zero plus zero zero plus zero plus zero so it will never give you any other elements so identity is certainly not the generator identity means zero is not the generator then if we start looking at the next integer which is one can one generate the entire set of integers so one raised to n where n belongs to z and this means that i'm going to write all the powers of one one raised to zero one 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 square one cube and so on one raised to minus one one raised to minus two and so on so I'm taking all the positive and negative powers okay and what is and what is uh, one raised to zero one raised to zero means a raised to zero is always identity and identity here in this group is what identity is zero one is as it is one square means one plus one one cube means one plus one plus one okay what is one raised to minus one one raised to minus one means inverse of one inverse of one with respect to addition is how much minus one and then inverse of inverse so this will be what is inverse of 
one and one one plus one it's inverse one plus one it's inverse is two inverse which is minus two and so this will continue so this will mean that this set actually turns out to be how much this set turns out to be dot 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 minus two minus one zero then one two three and so on so this is nothing but the set of integers so one has generated the set of integers and therefore we can now declare that the set of integers with respect to addition operation is what is a cyclic group but in the earlier lectures we have seen that a cyclic group uh, may have more than one generator okay so what is uh, is there any other generator of z right so let me write a question here is there any other generator of z so the answer to this question is that yes the there is one generator of z which is other than one so the the, the generator that we are looking for is nothing but minus one if you take all the powers of minus one then i will write it as minus one raised to zero minus one one minus one square and so on minus one raised to minus one minus one raised to minus two and so on so this will give me what this is identity so identity is zero over so this is zero and uh, minus one this is minus two and so on and minus one inverse is plus one so this will be one this will be two and so on so this is again the set of what this is again the set of integers and this is the reason that uh, z is a uh, cyclic group and what are the generators and z has two generators okay only one and minus one okay now uh, what we will do in the next problem is uh, we are actually interested in finding the subgroups of uh, zn so let me write uh, some note here so let me write it as a note so method to find the subgroups of zn so how will i find the subgroups of z modulo n with respect to addition modulo n so what we will first do is we will first find the divisors so first we will find the divisors of n okay find them and those divisors are called as k then in the second step i will calculate n by k and the third step i will generate the cyclic group generated by i will find the cyclic group generated by n divided by k okay these are actually the these are subgroups of these are subgroups of z and these are the subgroups of zn and these are the only and only subgroups of zn so there are no other subgroups of zn only subgroups of zn and they contain uh, k elements and contain k elements so we will now use this note and find the subgroups of z30 so i will use this method and solve the problem now so the question is find the find all subgroups of z30 of z 30 modulo addition modulo 30 so this is uh, now what is the method saying in the first step of the method we will take n is equal to 30 and we will write down the uh, divisors of 30 we will write all the divisors of 30 so they are i will call them k so the first divisor is 1 the second divisor is 2 3 5 6 10 15 and 30 so there are eight divisors of 30 these numbers divide 30 now i will find the value of n upon k 
जब हम तो फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ 30 अपॉन के सो पुट के इक्वल टू 1 के इक्वल टू 1 सो आई विल गेट 30 नेक्स्ट इज के 30 अपॉन 2 इज 15 आई एम राइटिंग 30 अपॉन 1 30 अपॉन 2 30 अपॉन 3 30 अपॉन 5 30 अपॉन 6 and so on okay means i'm writing n upon k 30 upon 15 and 30 upon 30 so what are the values of n upon k the values of n upon k are 30 15 10 6 5 3 2 and 1 okay so these are the values of n upon k i will write them as a bar 30 bar, 15 bar, 10 bar, 6 bar, 5 bar, 3 bar, 2 bar and 1 bar. Now I will write all the subgroups. These are the only subgroups. There are no other subgroups. So all subgroups are given by cyclic group generated by 30. Say I have written here in the above note. You consider the cyclic group generated by them so this is cyclic group generated by 30 then cyclic group generated by 15 bar and so on till cyclic group generated by one bar okay, these are all the subgroups how many subgroups we got we got eight subgroups of z30 because we had eight divisors of z30 now let us write down each subgroup look at the first subgroup the first subgroup is 30 bar 30 bar means in z30 30 bar is zero bar and what elements does zero generated and generates we know that identity does not generate anything except itself so the first subgroup will just contain what will just contain singleton zero bar the second subgroup is 15 bar so we will write the powers of 15 and we will understand that 15 bar contains 15 bar raised to 0 and 15 bar raised to 1 because 15 bar square will turn out to be again 0 because 15 bar square is 30 bar and therefore this is identity which is 0 bar this is 15 bar and 15 bar plus 15 bar will again become what again become 0 so there are only two elements in this particular subgroup and those two elements are 0 bar and 15 bar only okay the next subgroup is uh, 10 bar now we will write the elements directly now you have understood the method so 10 bar will generate what are the elements it will generate 10 bar is to 0 bar is identity it will generate 10 bar plus 10 bar will be again 20 bar and 10 bar plus 10 bar plus 10 bar will again become 0 so this is the third subgroup of uh, z30 the fourth uh, person is uh, six bar five bar three bar two bar one bar okay so the cyclic group generated by six bar you know all multiples of six bar you're supposed to write zero six bar then 12 bar 18 bar and 24 bar and 30 bar will be again become zero then you have five bar the cyclic group generated by five bar will all multiples of five bar zero five bar ten bar fifteen bar and 20 bar with a 25 bar so this is the next subgroup of z30 next is 3 bar will give you all multiples of 3 0 bar 3 bar till 27 bar then seventh will be 2 bar 2 bar will be all multiples of 2 0 bar 2 bar 4 bar 6 bar and so on till 28 bar and last is nothing but cyclic group generated by one and that is nothing but what that is the entire group z30 itself because we know that one bar is a generator of z30 so we have found out all the cyclic uh, groups of i mean we have found out all the subgroups of z z30 okay so if you consider the cyclic group generated by 11 bar now what is this 11 bar equal to we know that 11 bar and 30, 11 and 30 are relatively prime to each other correct so since they are relatively prime to each other this means 11 will become the generator of z30 right so 11 is the generator of z30 
and therefore this 11 the cyclic group generated by 11 bar will be equal to completely z30 and this is nothing but 11 bar also so if you, so there are no other subgroups uh, apart from these eight subgroups if you find any other subgroup it will match one of these eight people so these are the exact eight subgroups and now you observe that in that remark in the note above we have written that a, cy a cyclic subgroup n upon k will contain exactly how many elements it contains exactly k number of elements for example look here for if i look at this this is the cyclic group generated by 30 upon 5 because it is 30 upon 5 is 6 bar so in this cyclic subgroup contains how many element it contains exactly k elements what is the value of k here it contains exactly five elements so here you see that the one two three four and five so the cyclic subgroup generated by six bar contains exactly five elements similarly if i am taking cyclic group generated by 30 upon two okay this cyclic subgroup will contain exactly how many elements two elements that is why the cyclic group generated by 15 bar contained exactly how many elements exactly two elements okay so this is the way you should find the subgroups of given any zn 